All right. Testimonial. I appreciate these. Thank you so much. And something I was mentioning to a gentleman earlier today who was talking, he's a, he plays the saxophone and he's been playing for over 40 years. He's a professional and he travels and he was noticing from cellar sizing that his dexterity and his finger work was getting better and better. Well, that's one of the things that I share about cellar size is that it improves balance, rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination, rhythm at virtually any age because those are physiological functions that really have nothing to do with age. They have to be challenged and cellar size challenges it. So I really appreciated his comment and look, look forward to hearing more from him. And if you know mus musicians, whether they're guitarists or um, anybody that uses their fingers, there's movements we can do, and I'm going to share that in a moment, on the cellar sizer that can actually improve the dexterity of your, your fingers and, and movement. So this is from Jenny. Jenny says, I lifted weights for years and never saw results like these in my muscle tone. I saw it said in this group to trust the cellar sizer process, and that's exactly what I did. That's what I'll continue to do because I see my body getting stronger every day before my eyes. My goal isn't weight loss, and I'm not dieting following any particular diet. My only goal was to have fun, feel good, be happy, and to get strong. That's it. Why work out when you can play in? Jenny, she looks, I don't know if you can see her or not, but she looks, she looks great. And Jenny, I hope it's all right I shared that. All righty. Thank you. Okay. This is from Kelly. Kelly says, I have an issue that my body does not detox well. As I started to detox, my lymph nodes would get big and get, they'd get big and hurt. And that's how I found cellar sizer. I missed yesterday and the nodes swelled. So I got on this morning. It takes three minutes to health bounce to flatten those little buggers, <laughs> those little buggers, lots of laugh or laugh out loud. I just think that's so cool. Even if I feel under the weather, I can clear my lymph. And we all know, those of us who understand cellar size, what that does through the pumping action up and down to activate the lymph system to vacuum out the internal environment of the body. You look nice. You really look good today, Christian. You bet. You look good. Okay, this one is um, from London. And they write, despite the fact that I had gym, a gym membership, I found that I was not utilizing it as much as I would like, so I decided to invest in this piece of equipment, which is a cellar sizer. It is a mini trampoline that is compact and easy to store away because it can be folded up. I had to gradually build up to 10 minutes workout because the body cannot take more than that as a beginner. I no longer have any, exor I no longer have any excuse not to exercise. I do five minutes in the morning daily and 10 or more minutes in the evening at least five days a week. Nine months on it and I've lost some weight too. Thank you, Cellar Size. And they posted this on Instagram. That was nice. Thank you very much for helping to get the word out. All right, we're gonna go right into some health questions and then we're gonna address app questions today. And so Great. if you're having any specific app questions, go ahead and put it on there. I will get to those if we can and maybe we'll answer them. Good. as they come across because some of right. them are on here all right does anyone know if you can rebound with a pacemaker we have many people that are rebounding with pacemakers i always need to say in, in a situation like this consult with your doctor or have your doctor feel free to give me a call but there are movements that you can do on a cellar size that make it a lot easier on the heart but because you're on a pacemaker, it's important that you consult with your doctor. Moving up and down on the cellar sizer actually increases the effectiveness of the heart to move circulation through the one-way valves of the heart from the lowest extremities all the way up, making it easier. So uh, generally speaking, your doctor is probably going to be, if you're able to do normal activities, be very excited about the benefits involved in a cellar sizer and how it opens up not just circulation but can change blood chemistry so it's easier for the heart to pump that blood with as separated cells instead of sticky cells through the capillaries in different parts of your body all right what are the ways that rebounding slows down or perhaps reverses aging particularly the loss of a balance and flexibility that so many people experience gradually during their 50s and 60s well, I just been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man, and I really believe it is. 
Um, in my 50s, nobody ever told me that it affected um, balance and flexibility, uh, I mean, that, that getting older had anything to do with it. And I, I came to realize it really doesn't. Balance, we're not born with it. It has little or nothing to do with age. And flexibility comes with increased circulation and, um, and health of the actual tissue, uh, connective tissue, the fascia, the ligaments, and the tendons, and cellular size massages at the cellular level. And so as we're gently massaging every single cell over 100 times a minute, the body naturally becomes more flexible. Um, so me, you know, being in my 60s, I don't know if you can see this or not, but to be able to touch my toes, and, and I never do this except when people ask, but um, to put my hands on the ground, I know, you know, that's, it's just, it's a byproduct of cellular size. That's what, again, it's a whole different methodology of exercise. We're treating the body collectively as a whole not as muscle groups of body parts, but literally collectively, with every muscle, ligament, tendon, bone, skin, collagen, everything involved. So, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see a slight improvement in my eyesight after jumping consistently for one and a half months. Do you think that continuing to wear my 1.5 readers to read will slow this process or will my eyesight continue to get better while wearing them occasionally? <laughs> and thank you, she says, for all you've done. Well, thank you. Um, you re remind me of Juan, Juan Crevetto. I knew him um, in San Francisco, and, and I may have shared this before, but he, I was at a whole life expo, and he came up and he said, David, you should warn people it's going to affect their vision. And he was upset, and I said, um, wh why would happen? He says, well, I kept using that, and every time I put on my reading glasses, it got harder and harder to read, and it was always after I'd been cellarizing. So I stopped using it but my vision didn't get better. So I went to the ophthalmologist and, and, or I think it was the ophthalmologist, optometrist, to have my eyes checked. And they said that he had gone from 5.4 diopters to 4.5 diopters. He needed new glasses, but with less power. And that's common. When you cellar size, make sure you don't wear glasses which most people don't, but you don't want to do that. And you can focus at things at a distance and then up close, and at a distance and up close, and at a distance and up close. You can create your own eye chart and put it up on a window and look at the eye chart um, and then look at something at a distance, different size font, different size print, left to right, up and down, horizontal, diagonally. You, you just read these different words because you're working the muscles of the eye. As you're moving up and down, you're increasing circulation and fluid movement through the eye itself. And as you look at a distance and then up close again, the cellar sizer is flexing the eye, but the muscles are also flexing as you're increasing circulation. So it's been known to help improve vision. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of conditions involved. And so sometimes it does, sometimes it may not. If the actual lens in the eye is crystallized or gotten hard, then it might be harder for those muscles to form that. And that may require you know, additional attention. But our objective is to maintain good, healthy eyes and increase the circulation to the eyes and the flexibility. Cellular size absolutely helps to do that. I have been following the basic routine that has been aired. My knees all the way down to my feet are always stiff, sore, and tight afterwards and the next day. Is there anything I can do to address this? Yeah, yeah. That I don't know what the condition is. It, it could be diet, it could be um, circulation. Um, it, it, it could be just tightness. Normally it's diet and circulation related, but standing on the cellar sizer literally and just lifting up the heels up and down is working the lower legs because it's pumping with the calf muscle and feeding that circulation back up through the one way valves toward the heart. So this movement is really helpful. Um, bending at the knees a little bit and walking in place is going to start to strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee, which help to maintain better circulation throughout your, all of your legs, which is also very important. So if it's a circulation problem, this movement here is very intense. It can help increase circulation and strength. Um, this movement here pumps with the calf muscle helps assist the heart in increasing circulation through the legs again. 
if it's something related to diet, if it's um, calcium, potassium, magnesium issues, um, that, that you can find out through a doctor or nutritionist as well. So. Okay, you have instructed us to drink a lot of water after cellar sizing. Should this be done immediately or how much is a lot of water <laughs> and could you provide a specific amount? You know, everybody's different again. I don't know what your weight is, the size of your, your body, but I'll fill a, a pitcher of water up to about, <laughs> what is that, a couple liters of water, and I'll, I'll drink that in the morning. Um, I'll drink some before I get on the cellar sizer. I'll drink it even if I want to stop, get off the cellar sizer, drink some more water, get back on, and cellar size. It doesn't bother me. Um, if it bothers you, don't do that. But for me, I've been doing that for years, and then drinking during the course of the day. We're breaking up heavy metals. We're breaking up um, toxins and poisons and increasing circulation through all the different areas of the body. And having that water, uh, utilizing that, can help the body flush those toxins and poisons out of the body so they don't go redeposit somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, drinking lots of water, it, again, what, uh, what you're comfortable drinking. You don't have to overdo it, um, but having good water, most people don't get enough of it. So it's not like you can over drink. Most people are not going to do that. Um, but just drinking a, a good, good deal of water um, helps to increase that circulation through the body. All right. When will good I know? Questions. Okay, perfect. When will I know when the mat has to be replaced? I can feel that it dips further in the middle. Okay, you're not going to wear that mat out. That that mat is a well. When I say you're not going to wear it, you're not going to stretch that mat out. That. Uh, those polypropylene fibers are put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. They're extremely dense, that's why we use them. If it gets, it feels a little softer in the middle, you know, everything's gonna, the frame, the, the springs, everything can loosen up a little bit. That's not much, but, but a little bit. But the, your feet are gonna be supported on this mat. If you want to feel or utilize a little bit more of the spring, then just spread your feet apart a little bit and it just, firms it right out. Um, it, most people are not gonna jump with their feet like this in the middle of the mat where it's softest anyway. So if they keep your feet shoulder distance, you're jumping side to side, there's, there's not any, there's really not going to be an issue. 